You've got to get the most important things out of the way first of all. Um, coat hooks. We we actually made the decision to leave the bulkhead in, so I've I've clad all the bulkhead, um, and we've obviously finished it. As you can see, the theme is very natural green. Bottle opener again, priorities. Um, and then we we decided to put in a kitchen from Ikea. So this is literally off the shelf at Ikea. Um, one of their narrow fit kitchens with drawers for utensils, plates, computers, <laughs> pots and pans. Um, and then we've got an under sink cupboard which has got everything from sort of bins to all of our washing detergents and everything else. Obviously running water. Um, and then we've left the overhead storage there so we can put everything up there from sort of blankets, spare stuff that we don't need to access too often. Um, overhead units which I've built, which store everything from sort of cupboard staples, tea, coffee, pasta, rice, um, tins. And then obviously spice rack because we love our cooking, both of us. Um, hanging plant, which we've discovered that we actually need to take down before we start driving because otherwise it knocks about and makes a lot of noise. Um, made by Naomi. Made by Naomi, my sister, her macrame, beautiful. Um, and then our saviour everywhere is non-slip rubber, um, which means that we can pretty much drive with things on the surface tops. Upholstery, thanks mum. Um, so mum made us some beautiful bespoke cushions. And under here we have all of our battery compartment. True McCombie boiler for heating and hot water. Um, and then this is where we eat. So we have our pull out table. And underneath that, we have our portable toilet, number ones only. And then our fixed bed. So this is actually bespoke mattress, but it's pretty much a fixed double bed. So then coming from the back, we've obviously got another overhead unit above the bed, which I again made, which has got all of our clothes in. I'm gonna put another shelf in there just to make it a little bit tidier. Um, as I said, iPad holder, and then we've got obviously all of our selection of maps. We've got a couple of lighting circuits. So we've got strip lights and then the spotlights again with one underneath the units. And we've got some reading lights and a little alcove light here. And then round at the back, 
which is obviously what the Americans amongst us call the garage. Um, this is still to be finished off a little bit um, and, and made a little bit tidier, um, but things like spare gas, drinking water, 60 litre water tank, um, and then we've got shower attachment, which we're gonna fix so that we can have a shower out the back. One of my favourite parts of the entire van, um, we've only had it back three days from being resprayed, but we had it completely resprayed at Linex West London, in Linex. So thank you, Jack. You've done an amazing job. Um, it's a polymer, so basically it doesn't get hot like metal. Um, it's scratch resistant, um, so incredibly hard wear. It means that we can pretty much take it wherever we want and not necessarily worry too much about what's gonna happen. It cleans off incredibly easily. Um, and then we obviously put, as you have to, the BF Goodriches on um, with some nice black matte alloys, which in my opinion, just finish off the look. Let me take you around to the front. And just a little touch, I wanted it to be really subtle, but we've had the tripod down the side, um, which is what we call our camper van, obviously a little bit of a play on words. It's not my nickname. Um, it's actually Tamara, Layla and I call ourselves the tripod and obviously with my photography, we thought it was quite apt. So the van is actually called the tripod. And then finally, the bull bar, which no camper van is complete without in my opinion. We've had that line next as well in black with the contrast on the grill. A couple of bits to add, some fog lights down the bottom couple of brackets for front and rear registration plates and then we're done thanks everyone for watching um, we've really enjoyed making these YouTube videos um, and I hope you're enjoying the content the van is now finished so we can obviously start enjoying it there's always going to be a few bits and pieces that that we want to do and, and improve and and we're we're finding out stuff all the time if you've got any questions please feel free to put them in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them all if I can but otherwise, stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you out there soon. Thanks for watching.